Good evening, my name is Rebecca Tinney and I'll be talking to you about the company history. When looking into the history of the Gaylord, you soon realize that you're actually looking into the paths of three separate companies, Gaylord Entertainment, Marriott Hotels, and also Ryman Hospitality Properties. These three individual companies have come together in various ways to add value, increase stakeholder wealth, and also increase profitability. First, we'll start with Gaylord Entertainment Company. It was established by Edward King Gaylord in 1903 in Oklahoma and was run by him until 1974 when his son inherited the business. Originally, it was called Oklahoma Publishing Company. Oklahoma Publishing Company prospered during the early to mid-1900s with its radio and publishing operations that were a primary focus of the company during the 50s and 60s. By the early 1970s, Oklahoma Publishing Company was a multi-million dollar mini conglomerate. In 1983, now under the management of Edward L. Gaylord, the company branched out into a different category with the purchase of the Nashville-based Grand Ole Opry and the Opryland Hotel. In 1991, due to great debt acquired from purchasing a Nashville television station, Edward L. Gaylord decided to take the company public and sold 22% and renamed it Gaylord Entertainment. This was an extremely wise business decision. By 1993, sales had risen to $622 million, and the long-term debt was down to a manageable $300 million. The company was restructured in 1993 to prepare it for a more aggressive expansion, separating the company into four divisions, attraction, communications, music, and production. In addition, the company embarked on a number of new ventures in the 90s, such as the Wild Horse Saloon and the music label called Word Entertainment. Edward L. Gaylord maintained active management throughout the 90s even though the company had gone public. Throughout the company's lifetime, it would come to own the Grand Old Opry, three Opryland hotels, Opry Mills, the Gaylord Hotel, Jackson Riverboat, Wild Horse Saloon, Word Entertainment, Opryland Theme Park, Ryman Auditorium, and also multiple Nashville radio stations, television stations, and newspapers. Over the years, many of these entities were sold off, and in the early 2000s, all, all remaining non-hotel businesses were abandoned or sold to concentrate fully on hospitality. In 2003, Edward L. Gaylord passed, but some descendants of the Gaylord family still hold ownership in many of the original Gaylord properties. This brings us to 2012. In October of 2012, the Gaylord was sold to Marriott for $210 million. Gaylord still owns the properties, but Marriott now assumes the management responsibilities for not only the Gaylord's four hotels, but also the General Jackson Showboat, Gaylord Springs Golf Links, Wild Horse Saloon, and also the Radisson Hotel in Opryland. The names, decor, and general familiarity of these establishments were, were to remain the same. Colin V. Reed, Ryman Properties CEO, formerly Gaylord Entertainment Company, said, we chose Marriott as a partner for this transaction because they share our commitment to building a strong employee culture and delivering a superior customer experience. After completing this transaction, we are more confident than ever that working with Marriott, we will be able to achieve significant cost reduction within our business and drive additional revenue at our properties, ultimately benefiting our shareholders and positioning our company for sustained growth. Because it is a publicly traded company, Gaylord shareholders had to vote to approve the deal. To help convince the shareholders, Gaylord Entertainment Company made sure to state all the benefits, which included using Marriott's economies of scale, revenue management, distribution systems, and also having access to the Marriott's guest loyalty program with Encompass more than 40 million customers. Last but not least, they would also have REIT, or Real Estate Investment Trust status, meaning they could avoid paying corporate taxes in the United States if they distributed at least 90% of their net income as dividends. Gaylord also estimated the long-term cost savings from the transaction to be as much as $40 million. It's no surprise that the shareholders approved. This brings us to Ryman Hospitality Properties. The Gaylord Entertainment Company changed its name to Ryman Hospitality Properties when the deal was finalized in October of 2012. They felt that if they no longer carried full ownership of the Gaylord, they should no longer carry their name either. What we now know as Ryman is a real estate investment trust group specializing in crowd-oriented destination hotel assets, 
in urban and resort markets based in Nashville, Tennessee. Ryman Hospitality Properties also operates or owns the property of a number of media and entertainment assets such as the Grand Ole Opry, the Ryman Auditorium, WSMAM Radio, and four convention hotels with greater than 400,000 square feet of meeting space. This long journey with over 100 years of history has brought us here to 2013. My team members will now tell you more information about the Gaylord Hotel Texas specifically. Thank you.